Hello everyone, my name is Samuel Cardillo and this is the second video about the Polymer 1.0. The first video was about the Polymer Starter Kit which was announced at the latest Google I.O. But in this video we're gonna learn how to create our own element and use it in our application. As you may know, Polymer comes with a bunch of pre-made components based on material design, called paper. And it's exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna do a, an element based on material design and pr more precisely the paper card. This component will be useful to include any type of content such as media and text and even maybe a button into our own application. I know that right now you should be very 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 excited to start and to see it in action so I'm gonna stop speaking and we're gonna start directly cutting it. First of all, let's go on the Material Design Guidelines website to see how a card looks like. The definition that is gave to us is that a card is a piece of paper with unique related data that serves as an entry point to more detailed information. For example, a card could contain a photo, a text and a link about a single subject. As we can see here, we have sample of usage and multiple pictures to show us how it looks like. You should have seen them on your Android devices and across the web. The element we are going to create will give us the possibility to do exactly the same result that what we are seeing right here. Personally, I will do it on Polymer Starter Kit, but you can do it on a regular Polymer setup. For the moment, that's all my page looks like. As you can see, I've done some modification on the basic page, but it doesn't have anything to do with this video and what you're gonna learn today. So if it's different than what you have on your screen, don't be afraid, it will affect nothing. The first thing we are going to do is to go in the folder elements and create a new subfolder called paper card. Then in this folder we can create a new file called papercard.html. When it is done, we are about to create our first element together, and that is very exciting. Now let's declare our elements, as I was explaining to you in the first video, by using DOM module. So we type DOM module ID equal paper card. It means that we will be able to call it directly on index.html by doing a simple call like that. Now what we need is a style, a template, which is where the DOM will be, so all the content of the, the element will be inside the template, and outside the DOM module we need to put script, and it will be the script of our element. So every action that will be possible to do on the element need to be declared and done in the script section. In order to make a polymer understand that this script is for this element, we're gonna say polymer is paper card and that's it. Now we are going to call our element inside our application by going in the file elements and then calling it by writing link rel equal import href paper card slash paper dash card dot html so here if we call inside index dot html or element paper card it will work so now let's go on index dot html and call him let's delete all that and write paper card and as we can see it's clean nothing inside why because our element paper card with HTML have nothing in the DOM. What if now I write hello? We can see that our element is working and the content inside is displayed on our application, but it doesn't look like how we want it to look. Now this video is not about the CSS itself, so I will just pass it and I will explain you some part of it, such as host here and content, but I will explain your content after. Host mean that everything inside, so this CSS rule, mean that it will only apply on this element and not around. So it's like it's like saying body. It's like body, but it's like for this whole element. So host mean 
this all element. Then that is basic CSS and we'll speak about content after. Now let's focus on the HTML that I will write with you. The first thing we will do is to call paper material and in order to get it we need to include it. So what we will do is to include the elements that we need over here and for that I will also paste the two elements we, we need to include um, which is a paper fab and a paper material. When it's done we can put hello inside and we can see that it's inside a little box right now. Now let's write the HTML. First let's put a div class vertical layout and the vertical layout is very interesting this is a systems done in polymer which means that if I say hello let's say hello and exact same lines over here then we'll see that hello and hello go be under the author one now if I say horizontal then what the result will be that it doesn't go under hello but it go next to hello but here we want the picture to be on the top of the text, so we'll put a vertical. Now, the first things we need to write is the, ba the basic structure. So let's put div class picture. Then let's put an image. For that we are going to use lorempixel.com slash tag. This is a website that generate a random picture as we can see over here and then let's write um, a div class legend horizontal layout center and we will write a span inside this is a legend and then a paper fab mini icon home so the mini mean that the size of the paper fab is reduced. If I don't put mini that you will see that it will look really big as we can see over here. So we'll just put mini because it look better. And now let's put the content. So div class content. Hello. And here we have basic structure of our element and we see that it look great uh, thanks to the to the CSS over here but now let's speak more about polymer first of all what if I don't want a picture and only a text or what if I want a picture without text and blah 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 we can go further what we're gonna use it here is the magic of polymer called DOM if which is a condition in your DOM mean that if the condition is not okay the DOM does not appear. Let's do it and see how it reacts. Let's first say template is DOM if if image and let's put it over here and what we see over here you now is that I only see hello. Why? Because it need to receive an image when I call the paper card. So let's say that here the CRSS is bracket bracket EMG. Bracket bracket EMG means that it's a variable um, that you need to send through an attribute when you call the element. So everything that you put uh, inside brackets mean that you're binding this variable, that it's a variable and that Polymer should listen to it and bind it automatically. And as we can see over here is that if I go to index.html and I put emg that, then it will work. Now even if I put nothing inside emg, then it will not work. So it need to receive um, an attribute, a value in the attribute in order to work. We can do that with everything. Let's make an example with elevation. And let's say three. Now what is cool with paper material that we used over here is that it takes an attribute called elevation and we can say that if I say two then the shadow 
will be different. If I say 5, the shadow of the card is different also because the card is floating over the content. So now what if I put elevation over here into, into brackets? As we can see, if I change it to 5 over here, then it will apply the, the value we are sending through this attribute. Now let's continue. We're going to do the same with the legend. So template is dom if if legend and the paper fab. And for the paper fab, we're gonna apply it to the icon. If we don't supply any icon, then the paper fab will not appear. Let's make it more clear. So now, let's go on index.html and give a legend and an icon. And as we can see, it looks very great. Now, in paper card, I want the content to be changed. And for that, we're gonna use content. Which means that it will take everything inside it. Let's have a try. Let's put back hello. And it take it inside. An important stuff to know is that content take also the attribute select. That means that you're only selecting something into the content you're sending to the attribute. Which means that we can say select only paragraph for example. And you can see that hello disappear and it will reappear only if I put it inside a paragraph. But here we don't want that. We want that everything we put in the in the content go directly where it should be. Now in the CSS we can see we're putting two columns content, which means that we are acting with everything inside this. We also see that we are using var two dash accent color and also here. These are variables. If you've seen the first video. And if you're using Polymer Starter Kit, you have a file named apptame that contains variables with colors for your team. And this is something that Polymer bring is variables in CSS. And for example, here, this line changed the background of the button over here. And this is a variable that this element, the paper fab, have inside. And for example, if I put black, then the button turn black. But if I say to him to use the pre-made variables that we have in app team, then it will give it the color that you gave it here in app team accent color. If I change it to black, for example, then the result will be different. Let's put it back like that, and as we can see, it's back to the old color. Now let's see what problem we will have. If I add a long text over here, the problem is that the paper card adjusts itself to the side of this text and we don't want that. So in order to don't have this result, what we're gonna do is to give an 8. The problem is that you cannot change a, a variable inside the CSS, so we will use the JavaScript. For that, we're gonna put here properties and properties mean that inside you have all the variables uh, that your element will take or play with and we'll, we'll say with dot inside we say type is number and inside we're gonna put an observer which means that if the variable is not null or if it's changed then this function will be called 
So let's call it change with. And if you remember the verse video, I told you that this underscore means that this is a private function that you cannot call from the outside. So it's only in this element that this function will work and, and, and you cannot call it or use it from outside this element. So now let's create this function. So let's put um, change with function data so data contain the new value or the existing value and we'll say this style with equal data and we add pixels so here we are we are taking the old host CSS and then we also need to change the value in content so for that we use a query selector content so not this content but the div here class content I'm gonna say with equal data good and now as I give a width of 350 um, pixels let's say with equal 350 and boom it work the content and the whole width is now adjusted and obviously if I now take the paper card and repeat it then it will appear and I can even change the content over here to say I don't know like hello and here we have our paper card ready to be used in production for any application that you will create and I hope you like it and that's all for this video. You can reuse the component directly in your own application by downloading it on GitHub. And if you enjoyed this video as I did, feel free to contact me on social network or by commenting this video. I will help you out if you have any problems and let's see us in the next video.